What's going on guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and I want to talk to you guys about weapon variants in Call of Duty World War 2, and we do have some brand new information that I think some of you guys may like. Now, while Michael Kanji was doing a Reddit Ask Me Anything this afternoon, and he pretty much confirmed that there will not be stat changing weapon variants in the game, so that is very, very good news to hear, but there are a lot of people right now that are kind of skeptical about this, they kind of don't believe uh, Michael Kanji's word right here, but I honestly do think we could take this for what it is, because, I mean, this is pretty much public information right now. Uh, the whole David Von Der Haar thing where he confirmed, or I guess confirmed in quotation marks said that uh, there will not be stat changing variants in the game is kind of uh, up in the air. But this right here is pretty much confirming that there will not be stat changing variants in the game. Now I definitely do think that there could be new weapons that are going to be in supply drops that are only unlocked through supply drops. Not weapon variants, just brand new weapons that could come on later in the game. But for right now, Michael Kondry is pretty much confirming that there's not going to be any stat changing variants at the launch for this game. And he also says that there will be a direct way to earn everything in the game but we don't know exactly how whether it's through a system like infinite warfares or maybe a unlock system it's still all up in the air but if they do something like infinite warfare i just really hope that it's a little bit easier to earn the salvage or whatever system they're going to use for world war 2 because right now for infinite warfare it's really really hard and difficult to earn salvage in the game so hopefully world war 2 is a little bit different now if you're wondering what cosmetic only weapons mean that's talking about like camos and maybe some parts about the gun that are a little bit different that's what cosmetic only means as for like the ranges or the fire rate everything like that doesn't matter in cosmetic only it's just simply the looks of the gun now whether you like infinite warfare or not you gotta admit the way they handle brand new weapons have been very good if you don't know all brand new weapons in the game are either unlocked via challenge or you can get them via the season pass if you own the season pass you get every weapon for free not weapon variants just any new weapons in supply jumps you get the base version of them for free and i really do like that system a lot again whether you hate infinite warfare you gotta admit that system is very very good now so far for world war 2 guys everything about this game seems absolutely perfect so far just they really need to be delicate with how they handle the supply drop system because right now the call of duty community is raising a lot of eyebrows about this but uh, I don't know guys, again, if they were to add weapon variants to the game, then that would be a huge slap to the face to the Call of Duty community. And uh, so yeah guys, I'm really really hoping that Sledgehammer does a good job with weapon variants and supply drops for this game. I have full trust in Sledgehammer, and really this is the only thing that has me worried. I honestly don't care if swastikas are in multiplayer, I don't care if there's females in multiplayer. All I really care about is the core version of this game, such as the movement or weapon variants, stuff like that. As for the complaints about the aesthetics of the game, that should be the least of our concern, guys. And if that's the only thing we can come up with to complain about this game, then I honestly do think Sledgehammer is doing a pretty good job of World War II. So I do want to hear what you guys have to say about this in the comments down below. Also, make sure to go check out my video I posted a few hours ago talking about Call of Duty Ghosts but coming backwards compatible with the Xbox One. Thanks so much for watching. I'm a very typical rest of the day. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.